morning guys and welcome back to a new vlog. I'm running a little bit behind this morning, but I'm on my way now. I'm gonna be a little bit late, but I am so excited today because I am getting my hair extensions. So last night I went in and we did my color. Um, normally, like it would be done all in the same day, but um, just with my schedule as well as her schedule, we kind of had to separate it into two. So last night I went in for my hair color. So this is the color and I am absolutely obsessed with it. We did a little bit of a rooted blonde, um, but then like kept, like got rid of like the roots right here in the front. So I'm really, really loving it. I think it's gonna be so perfect and so cute for the wedding. And now I'm on my way to go get my extensions. So I am so dang excited. I intended to uh, get up and like put jeans on and stuff, but you know, you can only do one thing. I put my makeup on, so that's what I did today. So no, not wearing jeans, we're wearing leggings. So whatever, it's a, just, you know, a typical day in my life because I never wear jeans. But um, all right, so I'm on my way now. I do have a sinus infection. I promise I do not have COVID. I have a little bit of a sinus infection and I'm on medication and hopefully it goes away very soon because I am sick of it. I'm sick of it. All right, but I will talk to you guys afterwards, but this is the before. Sorry, mom, that I am vlogging while driving. I will get off now. Okay, so I'm just gonna get up really close right now because uh, I'm gonna show you guys in like full detail whenever I actually get home. Um, but I'm obsessed. I love it. It looks so stinking cute. I just wanted to go ahead and point that out and say that, but I will show you guys in all of its glory whenever I actually get home and can actually like show you. Please ignore my little mask. All the makeup came off out of my nose. But uh, I'll show you guys whenever I get home, but I am so excited. I absolutely love it. All right guys, but this is what it actually ended up looking like. Holy moly, I'm obsessed. It is so long and pretty and it literally blends in with my natural hair so freaking nicely. Holy moly, it's so freaking pretty. You're, both, you're definitely gonna hear Brandon watching The Office in the background. Then you're gonna hear Tinsley playing with her toy, but I think it looks so, so cute. And then she just curled it um, just the way that she curled it. But I'm gonna curl it a little bit differently, kind of how I curl my hair tomorrow. And we're gonna see kind of how it looks, but I think it looks so pretty. I'm gonna move you guys into the bathroom lighting so you guys can kind of get a better, like accurate representation of it. All right, so then this is what it looks like just in our bathroom lighting. It looks so stinking pretty it is so long and just oh, I'm obsessed um it they are the hand tied extensions so they look so dang good I finished my Christmas tree in my office last night what do we think I am not obsessed with it whatsoever I absolutely hate this tree Oh my goodness, it is so annoying. It has like two different kinds. Thank you. It has two different kinds of, what do you even call this? I don't even know what you call it, but like branches, yeah. It has like two different kinds of branches, I don't know if you can tell, but they're like supposed to be the branches that like you don't necessarily like have to fluff every single year. And with that, they do not like bend in any way shape or form like what you see is what you get and so it is so hard with certain ornaments like i don't know like certain things you want to like bend like you want to bend it so this stays in place um to get like a tree topper on there like it was impossible and so i wasn't even able to put a tree topper i had to do like this ornament and then just like stick this this little guy through it um, but like even that it's at an angle because I guess apparently it was at an angle and I cannot get it to stick up straight and it's so freaking annoying, but I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't love the way it turned out. I don't love the way it turned out. I'll be honest. And these keep falling out. <sighs> I 
Um, the look in my head was much cuter than how it actually ended up turning out looking, but it's okay. I did find a use for my, uh, please, can you not mess that up, please? Thank you. Uh, I did find a use, though, for our tablecloths for our wedding that we will not be using, obviously. Uh, use them as a tree skirt, even though Tinley just completely ruined that, so thank you. Oh my goodness. There you go. There you go. But yeah, so I have literally multiple of the secret ones, and then I have like 20 something of the <laughs> burgundy. So I'm going to be using them as tree skirts for the uh, <laughs> trees that I don't have a tree skirt, tree skirt for. So also real quickly, I wanted to mention that I will list um, who does my hair as well as like the shop and everything down in the description box down below um, in case you guys were wondering and you wanted to you know, get yourself some hand tied extensions because I'm obsessed and they really like it doesn't hurt or anything like it's a little like pressure but like it doesn't hurt at all so and I am I do plan on doing like a full on video talking all about my experience with them as well after I've had them for a couple of months. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I will link all of her information down in the box down below. Okay, please ignore my very crappy braids, but um, so I am getting ready to go to sleep, but I just really wanted, real quickly wanted to tell you guys, um, I will actually be like, you know, for real vlogging tomorrow and not just showing you like two minutes of my day. So um, please continue watching this vlog because I promise I will actually do things and talk to you guys tomorrow. But. I'm going to bed now, so good night. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good afternoon, guys, because I have not talked to you all day. I'm actually gonna sit on the floor because I'm so freaking lazy. Um, so I worked and I have to jump on another meeting here in a couple minutes, but um, I've been working all day. It's literally like three o'clock. Yeah, like three o'clock now. Uh, I've been working all day. I did curl my hair just to kind of see if I could kind of blend it out. Um, there are a couple pieces where like I did not put any effort into it and you can 100% tell because I feel like you can, it doesn't blend well with my actual extensions. So definitely actually have to put a little bit of more effort into it. And then other pieces just blended really nicely and then these pieces just didn't. And it also has a lot to do with how I slept on my hair as well. Um, same, that's why I have my hat on today because literally this side, I slept on this side and my hair is so flat that you can see the extensions and I just have absolutely no desire to, uh, spend any time on my hair today because I have, I just don't feel like doing anything today and I'm just, all I'm doing is working and then obviously I work from home, so I just didn't feel like doing it, so I just didn't do it. So, um, yeah. I have no desire to do anything. Um, last night we got McDonald's because Brandon did not want to cook dinner and I was all for that. But now I wish that we would have waited and got McDonald's tonight because I have no desire to cook dinner tonight. So I don't know, Brandon said that he would and he'd make spaghetti, but I don't even feel like I wanna take the time to wait for it. I just wanna go to the fast food and the drive-through and get it because I am, so tired today. My sinus infection is like full force. I did not take medicine whenever I first got up and that was my issue. And I know if I take it now, because it's the daytime medication, I won't be able to fall asleep tonight because I am so sensitive to anything like that. Anything that says you're gonna stay awake, um, non-drowsy, it means I'm not gonna be able to fall asleep. But if it says drowsy, no, I can still stay awake. I, I don't know, my body's so sensitive. But um. Yeah, I don't feel like doing anything and I need to do so many things. I have such a long to-do list. I had intended to film a video as soon as I got off work um, and I set everything up, but I don't feel like doing it now. I really don't. And I am not going to put makeup on, so I don't know. I probably won't film it today. <laughs> you have to look at her. Watch her. So these balls, if you watched my... <coughs> I don't remember what it was. It was a vlog though. Um, then I got her an entire sack of balls and I got her a bunch of other toys to take to Colorado with us. She somehow managed to get it out of the bag and has torn a hole in it and has literally taken every single ball and who knows where they are. There's one, but who knows where the other balls are. 
And what she does is she tears them up. She like tears all of the stuff off of it. Like you can see there's an orange piece there. Who knows? There was like, I don't know, a ton of balls in here. Who knows where they're at? Why do you do that? Even though she has so many toys here, she wanted the Colorado ones. Whatever. Uh, so yeah, I, Brandon got his suit in, it came in the mail, we ordered it from, like, a rental company, um, just that one that I found online, <coughs> Tinsley, and I was able to find, like, exactly what we were looking for, and so we did that, and, um, so we're renting it, and it came in yesterday, so he needs to try it on today, <coughs> to make sure that it fits him, because if it doesn't fit him, and, um, we need, like, a different size or whatever they will actually like overnight it to you um so that way you can get it as soon as possible and like you don't have to pay a bunch of money and it's awesome so i'm really excited about that i'm excited to see a minute and see if it fits and if you know our vision actually worked um so i do for her have to do that i need to finish all of our christmas stuff but i'm i know i'm not going to do it today i just had no desire to so i'm not going to um I finished my office, but I need to clean my office because it's a hot mess now because I have a bunch of packages that came in for Colorado, just kind of thrown everywhere. Um, I finished our bedroom and then I need to do my closet because I'm going to put up a Christmas tree in there. I need to do our, our dining room because our dining room is a hot mess right now. This is what it looks like because all of the trees, you guys didn't know, for our wedding that we were supposed to have, we bought like literally like 20 trees. We literally had 20 trees down in our basement in like our little storage areas. So the ones that we're not using, um, we're just gonna like sell or give to like family or whatever. And so I have the ones that we're not using that we're not planning on keeping up here. Well, some of them. I think this one's actually going to go over there. But um, I know for sure I'm getting rid of that one because but we just don't have the space for it. Uh, Cause it's just too big and everything. But, um, yeah, so that's what's in here. That's why this room's kind of a disaster, which that one is going in my office. It's like a slim tree, really, really pretty cute. Um, or not my office, in my closet. And then we ha we did half of our, my alarm went off, I have to go back in for my meeting. But what I was saying is that we did half of our mudroom. So I still have to do the other half of that. But I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so I just got back from tanning and real quickly, I was going to show you guys what I got from the Sephora VIV cell. I apologize if you can hear Tinsley. She is freaking out over there. She thinks that one of her toys is in a box whenever it's not. But your toy isn't in there. I just got that package today. I promise it's not in there. Even though she has a million and ten toys sprawled out throughout the entire house. Okay, anyway, um, I had intended just to film like a whole entire video um, showing you guys each product, like a, you know, like a normal Sephora haul, like I used to do, but I'm too lazy and I know I won't get around to it. And I have so many videos to film this week that I'm like, okay, I'm just going to knock this out during this vlog. And I don't feel like there's that much footage today for this vlog anyway. And I need to get this edited for tomorrow. So the very first thing that I got, I got quite a bit of stuff, but the very first thing I got was the Grande Cos Grande Cosmetics Grande Lash Lift Heated Eyelash Curler. I have used it once. I did not use it the way that you were supposed to though, like the way the directions say. So I will say I did not like it, but again, I did not use it the correct way. So that could be why, um, but I thought I would go ahead and try it out. I will try it out um, one day this weekend and actually like use it how the directions say to use it. And then I will let you guys know in the future what I think about it. Tinsley. Please stop it. Oh my goodness, you guys have to see her though. She's so cute. Look at you. Please ignore my very messy office. That is a big, huge collective haul that I need to show you guys that I got from a bunch of different places. Those are just clothes I need to take to my closet. Um, that was the bag that all, had all of Tinsley's toys and now they're all over my office. And then those two boxes are um, wedding items that I got that I'm wanting to film like a wedding haul. Um, so I have that to do as well. And then that, I need to hang those up. <laughs> but she keeps thinking that there's a toy in that box whenever there is not. Okay, and then the next two things I got was the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This used to be my favorite foundation for so long. I do not know why I stopped using it. 
I have no idea why. I don't know why, but um, this is such an amazing foundation. I literally, it was like my favorite foundation for like two years. Um, it's so good. So I got the shade Ivory, which is my normal um, like pale self shade, like my non-self tanner, non anything, just my normal tan shade or my normal um, shade, like my normal pale skin. And then the Warm Beige is my, it's actually not my self tanner shade. It's actually darker than my self tanner shade. It is like my true tanning tanning in a tanning bed shade um so which I'm I kind of guessed on that one because I know for sure that the 310 sun beige and the um Maybelline matte and fit me that is what I used to wear whenever I actually used to tan in a tanning bed so like right after high school like in high school um and so I matched it to that and so I don't know we'll see but I wanted to make sure that I got two of these so that way if it is, if I am a little bit lighter, I can mix it with the um, ivory because I there's no way I'll be darker than that. But, so that's why I got two and I will 100% get the use out of it because I absolutely love it. Um, okay, and then the next thing I got is the uh, Moroccan Oil Luminous Hairspray. This is the strong finish. I watched a ton of videos on YouTube and they said that this was an amazing hairspray like for your wedding day or just like a um, special event or anything like that. Um, then the next thing I got is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I've been using this for, I don't know, probably a year now. And I really, really like it. I just had like one of the smaller size ones. And I really, really, really like it. So, uh, I will be wearing that on my wedding day. Um, the next thing I got is, let me make sure there's something in there. Okay. The Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. My favorite eyeliner of all time. Um, and then I just got the... I think they only have it in black, but it's in the black color. And then this is my favorite, um, like pencil liner that I, I put this like on my, um, like my top water line, my, what the heck is it called? You guys, I tight line with it. Um, and then I just use the shade blacker. So just the black shade, but this is the best, literally the best eyeliner to tight line with in the history of the world. It is not going to get like, it's not going to go anywhere. It stays in place. Okay, and then the next thing I got is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. Love that one. That's probably, like, one of my favorite. For sure, one of my favorite uh, mascaras of all time. Um, and the next thing I got is the Sunday Riley Saturn Sulfur Acne Spot Treatment Mask. Um, the Kate Somerville one is no longer doing it for me, so I thought I would try this one out. Um, I have used it once and didn't notice a big huge difference but I only used it one time so we'll see the next thing I got is the Kaja hopefully I'm saying that right it's the Machi minis it comes with a highlighter and a blush um they're not in here anymore I've already used them and I will say I am not a fan of them um they're just like the minis and I did not realize that they are more of like a I guess I should have realized that since once it said bouncy, but it's more of like, it's not like a liquid, but it's not like a powder either. It's like a combination of in between. And I did not realize that. And so I just started applying it and it did not blend out very nicely at all because I used like a brush and it just wasn't working. Um, so maybe I will like it whenever I actually like use like my fingers or like a different kind of brush or something with it, or even like my beauty blender. But I will say I didn't care for it that way. It came in the shades Moch, no, Machi Glow and Machi Pop, no, maybe that's what it's called. Yeah, no, they're called that, wow. The Machi Pop and the Machi Glow, so the Machi Glow is in Toy Allen, and then the Machi Pop is in Atmosphere, so yeah. I will let you guys know if I end up liking that, the regular, if whenever I use it a different way. Okay, then the next thing I got is the UFO Ultra Clarifying Acne Treatment Face Oil by Sunday Riley. I have been dealing with quite a few breakouts recently, and so I was like, all right, I'm gonna pick this up and we're gonna try it because I have tried everything that I know works for me and nothing's working. So I decided to buy those two um, Sunday Riley products and we are going to test them out. The next thing I got is this, um, it's just the Tar Eyelash Curler and then it comes with a mask, the mini mascara and then like a refill and I've been using the eyelash curler um that I used to own that one and I don't know what happened to it but it is the best eyelash curler to blend your fake lashes with your natural lashes it is so good for that so if you're on the hunt for one highly recommend that one 
Um, then the next thing I got is this little mini, um, it's the Algenist Liquid Collagen. And I've been using this like every day for, I wouldn't say a month or it may be a month now. I don't know, but I definitely noticed a difference. And so I decided to get like a, uh, just like a mini size. So that way I can take it with me when we go to Colorado. Um, and then I do have like the samples as well, but the very last item that I actually bought is the power couple kit. It has the good jeans as well as the Luna night oil. I've been using this every single night for probably a month. Um, I used to use this all the time and then I stopped, like I got away from it and I don't know why. Again, this product is amazing. And so, um, I am almost out of it. And so I just decided to pick up a new one because it is such a good product i'm telling you it makes like such a big difference just like with overall texture as well as like fine lines and stuff um the good jeans helps to plump and so i notice a huge difference whenever i use it like my, my fine lane my fine lane oh my goodness my fine lines are like virtually gone okay but then that's all the stuff i got and then because i purchased this stuff in multiple orders um I ended up getting like more than obviously three samples or more than two samples. So I got two of the Tatcha Dewy Skin. Um, what is this? This is the, the Dewy Skin Cream. I've tried this before and it's really, really good. So that's why I picked that up. Um, and then I also got the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. I've never tried this one. Um, it's supposed to be pretty good. And then I didn't even get this, like, I, this isn't even the one I chose, but this is the one they sent me. The Dolce, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, and then the Bobbi Brown Perfect Skin Coverage, all, no wait, no. The Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation, and that's literally just to get your shade. You can, I'm definitely not going to get to try that out. Um, and then that this one is the exact same thing, <laughs> which, again, I did not pick those out either. So, but that is all I got from Sephora. Um, it was basically just picking up all of like some of my favorite things and just things that I needed for the wedding. But these are like some of, some of my favorite products in here. So yeah. Um, all right, I, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take a shower, edit this video, and then I'm gonna go to sleep because I am tired and honestly, by the time I shower and edit this video, it'll be like 10 o'clock probably. Um, so yeah, I will talk to you guys. I don't know when I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you at some point. Um, but I will for sure be filming a bunch of videos this weekend um, because I, I really got to get it in. Got to find time to do it. Hopefully this video was entertaining for you guys. I know I didn't do a whole lot. Um, but you got to support all out of it. So there's that. And you got to see the cutest puppy in the world who is still trying to get in that box. But thank you guys all so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.